Hey guys, welcome to ProTech. I'm Steven, this is Amy. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate the different positions that the cup uh, holster will go into. Now the cup was originally for the appendix carry market and it does work in the appendix position, but it'll also work in the cross draw, strong side, and small of the back positions by simply loosening the screws and adjusting the clip. The clip will move up and down about three quarters of an inch and it'll also angle itself uh, pretty pretty drastically so you can achieve several positions with it. So Miss Amy has it on right now in the appendix position. Go ahead and lift your, lift your shirt. There she's got a SIG P365XL. Go ahead and give us a draw. Okay, all right, and a reholster. And this is uh, this this particular holster is for a P365XL with a Romeo Zero and a TLR6 on it. So the Romeo Zero is an optic, and the TLR6 is a weapon light. Our mold gun doesn't have it on it, but the gun that's going to be put in this that uh, goes uh, with the customer who ordered it will have those accessories on the gun. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and go ahead and take that off. <coughs> We use concealment clips, and they're uh, they're rather aggressive in their bite on the belt, uh, so they won't come off until you disengage it. And uh, you can see here, it's got a it's got a a piece in it that will bite the belt quite quite aggressively. Because the last thing you want when you go to draw your gun is for it to come off of your belt. Okay, so now we'll do strong side. So what we're going to do is just loosen this screw up. And all you, all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver, <clears throat> and we can change the angle of the clip. See, now we've got a little bit more aggressive forward angle. We'll go ahead and give it a little bit more. There we go. <clears throat> so when you're carrying strong side, you want more of a forward angle to get the pistol grip in to help conceal the gun. And you just tighten it up. And stick it in the pants. There you go now. So tighten your belt. Do your thing. <clears throat> so there she's got it in the four o'clock position. So go ahead and turn and let them take a look at that. And then give us a draw there. Okay. And a reholster. Okay. And go ahead and take it off as easily as last time. Yep. Okay. <laughs> now we'll demonstrate the small of the back position. I'm going to angle it even more. Small of the back, we need about 25 degrees of angle. clip it in the small of the back. Now the one downside to the cup is it doesn't have as big of a footprint as the other purpose-built holsters do that are purpose-built for those specific positions. So it'll be a little less comfortable than say a purpose-built strong side carrier, purpose-built cross draw, or a purpose-built small of the back rig which we all we have in our product line. But the advantage of the cup is you can wear it in multiple positions. So now go ahead and show them the small of the back. Okay, and go ahead and give a draw. There we are. Okay, and a reholster. Okay, and go ahead and take it off. <clears throat> okay, and last but not least, we'll demonstrate the cross draw. So it'll be over here. So now we're going to take that clip and we're going to swing it all the way the other way. Give you as much belt clearance as I can. This is the rarest uh, carried position, but some guys do carry cross draw, so. And ladies. 
Yep, and some lady. Yep. <laughs> okay. And we'll just clip that on. Generally, folks who carry cross draw will carry have more of a belly. Um, so Miss Amy is is kind of small, um, so she won't be able to demo it as well as a bigger person would. Mm -hmm. No, I pulled it forward a little because it's right on my hip bone. Ah, to get it off of her hip bone. Gotcha. Okay, go ahead and tighten that up once you get it in position. <clears throat> Okay, right, so there she's got it in the cross draw position. You can see the pistol grip prints a little bit, and again, if she were a bigger person, she would be able to carry a little bit more onto the side. I can't rock cross draw very well myself either because I'm small. Um, so go ahead and give us a draw there. With the hair. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Don, would you mind stepping in here really quick? Okay. And uh, so now we're going to bring uh, Don, this is my father, Don, come on in, and he likes to carry cross draw, and I'm going to have him demo that position. If you wouldn't mind just loosening your belt a little bit, let me clip this in here. We all just started using Core Essentials, or he and I did, Core Essentials uh, belts uh, with that ratcheting system in them, and uh, they're not too bad. <clears throat> He's got an H mag on right now, but... So there he is, and go ahead and open your vest up so they can see it. There it is, cross draw, carry, and go ahead and give us a draw. Yep, there it is. Okay, thank you, sir. Say bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Uh, so there it is, folks. That is the cup in all of its glory. We've got built into it. You can see how it's it's got this bump right here. That bump helps tip the muzzle outward and rotate the pistol grip inward kind of serving as like a wedge effect we do have wedges that we can bolt on here but i find that for for the other positions it's kind of more of a detriment uh, than a help but if you want a wedge just put in the notes that you'd like a wedge added on to yours but uh, this kind of does that same effect and makes for a more compact design and then on the leather side you can see we go in and we blend this edge all the way around so it's a uniform it's a uniform feel and that's where the real comfort comes in so when you're bending and what have you it makes for a much more comfortable ride so guys stay safe out there Miss Amy you have anything you want to say about the cup and the different positions oh, I think it, it, uh, it can accommodate to just about anybody any yep. draw anybody type yep so it's a multi-tool holster, if you will. Guys, stay safe out there, and we'll see you next time.